Hello everyone, Lot Angel Forever, and welcome back to some more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And in the last episode, I'm having deja vu to begin with, just because of this uh, battleship passing us up again. Um, if he actually... Did he damage himself? Did you see that? He damaged himself. How did that happen? Well, shocking, really. But in the last episode, we, we uh, got some more progress done, we picked up some more treasure charts, etc. And in this episode we're going to fill in the last two islands here. So, without further ado, let's just go before this uh, battleship just decides to uh, attack us once again. <laughs> I want to get some bait. So after this episode, well after this uh, thing, we won't need any more bait anymore I don't think. What are we going to do with the rest of our bait I wonder? I also want to see what happens when we get 60 points. And that's another thing, we need to go to an uh, island that has a post box because we noticed in, I think it was a few episodes ago now, that we had um, ooh, treasure, treasure's here. Uh, uh, what's what I was going to say? <laughs> oh yeah, we're going to see, uh, we're going to have to try and find out where the post box so we can get our gift that he sent us. So if it's not fry, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. And this is obviously the Tower of the Gods. But we never actually got the island the first time. The uh, location I mean. Not the island. <laughs> I've done a fish fortune on you, small fry, and from what I can tell, it looks like you're fated to come to this place many times. And the keys that control that fate are none other than the lucky tie items known as the triumph box. Yeah, there's some sort of magical utensils. <laughs> utensils? <laughs> okay, if you want to learn more about the triumph box, tell, talk to that guy Tingle, that's what the fish fortune told me. Now I know I may only be a fish, but my fortune telling is uncannily accurate. You better believe it's small fry. And someone's just texted me. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy fry. But I can't go get fighting on the evil and then stomach can he's off and we get some treasure. Where is the treasure? Where is the treasure? Treasure? There it is. Are we even close to it? I don't think we- I, I saw it. I saw it. Oh, there we go. Perfect. There we go. I thought we, we, we weren't in the right uh, area for it to pick up, but we were. And well, that's good. Another silver rupee. So we get 2,242. If my math is, if my math is, my math is correct because usually it's not. But I'm hoping that it is today. And yeah. And that was, that was pretty easy, I think. Maybe. A little bit. <laughs> so there's only one island to go. And we're going the wrong way. But I need to turn around a little bit. Right, we're going to have to use the maker. I thought so. Uh, west. So I'll meet you guys at the next island and the last island for our map. See you guys in a minute. Oh, we can walk straight to it. That's pretty useful. So it's a walk point. So I wonder what island this is. I don't think, obviously we haven't been to it yet.
on this island is it has treasure the start is oh no oh no oh no there's girls here too There's Gyogs. North east, I mean, not northwest, northeast. Uh, <laughs> meow, we don't want me on my boat. Don't knock me out of my boat. Where's the fish? I saw him. There he is. Just throw the bait out of the water, and this is the last time he's gonna get bait from us. Sadly, uh, days with the map fish have ended. Uh, yeah, 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 I've heard to take out a chat information, so let's see what he has to say about this last island, and then we're done. This is Tingle Island, the last island we've got on our map was Tingle Island. Let me tell you a little something about that island over there, small fry. The guy who lives there is named Tingle, but he won't grow up and act his age. He still dresses like a little kid, that is not normal. Still, from what I hear, you can decipher maps like nobody's business. It just goes to show you that you can't judge a person on appearance alone, Fry. Of course, the thing about this single guy is that he, when it comes to time to pay his de deciphering fee, you better be ready to fork over some serious dough. Anyone who doesn't have a deep wallet won't be reading any maps, that's for sure. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, blah blah blah. <laughs> and he's off. And we'll get the treasure. There's, there's Gyorgs here. There's Gyorgs. Okay. Hopefully that, that will be okay. Hopefully that'll be okay. Alright, where's there it is. Okay, perfect. I think that should be, that should be okay. There we go. Yeah. We got another silver rupee. That's pretty useful. So uh, let's have a look on Tingle Island uh, before we move on to our next uh, objective which is actually to head back to Gale Island uh, like uh, with Medley we also have to find the sage this uh, to the next temple so let's talk to our good friend the mailbox uh, good evening let's just like we have one letter here is your letter cash on delivery 10 rupees that's not too bad okay so I guess it's not like a free thing. Notice the silver membership holders. Thank you for your frequent patronage at, of Beetle Shop Ships. Since you have earned 30 points, you have been granted a silver membership. All the silver membership holders receive a special gift, one complimentary ID. It is valid for all but at all Beetle Shop Ships, so bring it to a shop ship near you. I look forward to a future patronage. Hmm. You got the complimentary ID. Who knows what this is, but apparently you should take it to Beetle. Keep it in your delivery bag for now. Okay. Is there a beetle shop, sh shop ship nearby anyway? I don't think there is. And also, I think what I will do is head back to... Where is it? Rock Spire Island, which is quite... Which is real, which is close by next... Sorry. Sorry about that. Got briefly interrupted. Um, so what I was saying was... Uh, we recently got the... Uh, the pass, the complimentary thing. So we're gonna have a look at see what, if Tingle's actually on this island, and this is pretty cool. <coughs> the, the bottom tier is like chew jellies, um, moblin, fairies, which look kind of spooky in my opinion. They look a bit dead in the eyes. Uh, so we've got two people running the top thing, which is Tingle's head. And even this island is, island is shaped like a bit like Tingle's head a little bit. I think so. Let's talk to him. Well, Mr. Ferry, I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? 
you're not here to play. Oh. <laughs> Next time, bring me one of my favourite chairs. I haven't seen them yet. Please, sir, just bring me one, please. Goodbye, Mr. Fairy. Please come to visit me here at Tingle Tower again, where wonderful fairy magic makes the place spin and spin and spin and spin very creepily. But yeah. But next island, this is the last island on our chart. We've we've covered all our sea chart and it's so pretty now. It's so pretty. So I guess oh you know what we haven't done in a while. In ages, in fact, and I've been wanting to do it for quite a while now anyway. I do want to go to Rockspire Island though, and that's really close by. But I also want to go to Windfall Island again and take care of the the uh the 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 the, the, the what's it called? The um uh what's it called? The um oh yeah the uh, the, the auction. I really want to take part in that again. Cause that was fun, and even though my heart piece got sniped last time, I'm not letting that happen again. So let's just move back to uh, Rockspot Island to pick up. I think it was the treasure chart and the heart piece. I think it was left, or the other way around, or completely different. I can't quite remember what was available there. Oh yeah, it was the heart piece and the treasure chart because we got the bottle the first time. Right, that was that's what what I was trying to say, and we're gonna get swept away. But it's not too bad because we we can just move back the way we want. So I'll meet you guys at Rockspire Island, and here we are. We will also see what what's actually on this island at some point. What should we do it now? while we're here and then we'll head to Gale Island again. I think I've changed my mind that I'll do the uh, the uh, auction again at some point in the future. It, it doesn't look like it has changed, just changed to uh, night time so maybe we'll take care of it now. Maybe we'll take care of an auction right now, maybe just to see what there's available. And we have these two left so I think we'll get the heart piece, 950. And it looks like we have the fourth piece, so we completed another heart container. Thank you. Uh, we are so happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. And the treasure chart, so it's 900 rupees. I'm broke again. When it stops. Look at all my money dwindling away slowly, but surely it makes me so sad. That's why I want to do the auction another time. Oh, just hurry up and take my money. 900. And that's it. It'll probably go back to be a normal shop ship now. We've got all the, the goodies from this uh, particular beetle. Thank you. Thank you so much for your happy and happy. We're all happy. Okay, let's, let's see what happens when we come out and go back in again. To see if it does it turn into a regular shop ship or does it not? Or does it just close down or something? Oh, it just has like arrows and stuff. Ar arrows and uh, heart potion things. So let's see what uh, treasure chart we actually got then from Beedle this time. We got treasure chart 4. So it looks like there's another, uh, what's it called? The, uh, trying to think what it's called. What is it called? The, um, the, uh, I've forgotten the name. <laughs> I've forgotten. I forgot. <laughs> I, I keep. I I lost my train of thought. Oh well. If it comes back, I'll obviously mention what I was going to say. But I forgot. I wonder what that is over there. I can't remember. What the? Looks like it's great for Shannon, but it's not. I was get. I got distracted. Oopsies. Don't want that. It's uh, a bit too early. So I, I have to throw it right on the end. Yeah, yeah, and that was that was worth it. That was worth getting hit.
Okay, next one. That was good. It's becoming daytime. Anything? Just the whole thing. Let's see what this is. Let's see what this says. Western Fair Hell Island overhead. Yeah. Let's just go in here and see what see what there is. See if there's any more treasure to be had. Oh, this is spooky. I'm gonna leave, I think. There's no source of oh yeah there is. Okay, we'll deal with this now. Because this is really spooky. Oh, that is really spooky. Okay, I didn't expect that to happen. I still can't have that. Okay, we'll just get rid of all these keys. The general is fighting me. There's so many of them. Whoops. Can't use this here. There you go. It froze. Oh, it spawned the treasure chest. Got another treasure chest. Uh, what number is this? This is number number thirty-seven. We'll definitely definitely take care of those at some point. We have to. We have a lots of treasure charts to uh, collect. But we haven't done so already. It's become daytime. So I think what we'll do is warp to where's my boat? Where's my boat? Boat. Yep. boat. There he is. Obviously the uh, things respawn, so we can't use them to get back. What we could do, but it'll take quite a while, I think. I think we can uh, warp straight to. Um. Gale Island, so I think we'll try that. We'll, we'll do that now. Oh no, we have to walk to Windfall Island and travel north. That's not too bad. Here we are. Again, a gale island, where the gales always blow. For an infinity and beyond. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Don't use that. Okay, so now that we we uh, we can use the um, heavy boots, the iron boots. Sorry. Um, we can travel through the uh, we can travel through the wind and Link's like I can do it, I can do it and the birds look so cute on him they're so cute I can do it I can do it once you reach the end you can BAM and I get rid that gets rid of the whole girl in we go I'm going to use the Wind Waker because we're going to learn a new song now. So it says there appear to be markings that indicate specific directions.
We learn the winds, wind god's aria. The second of the sages appearing, who was a sage? <laughs> Are you the new hero? I am Fado of the Kakiri tribe. I know I appear to you as a child, but the eyes can oft deceive. I am the most esteemed sage. I had been praying here so that the power to repel evil would continue to be contained within the blade of the Master Sword. But I was attacked by the evil Gondorf, and this is what happened to me. You wish to return the power to your blade, don't you? Yes, we do. In that case, look for the one who has the same instrument that I hold and teach him the song you just played. Once you do, I'm certain the hold of the instrument will feel the blood of the sages awakening him within his veins. The wind waker you hold was used long ago to conduct the sages when we played to our songs to call upon the gods. In, the, in those days, it was, always, it was always the king who conducted for us. Please tell the king that I will I will still play even in the next world. Not as obviously. I really like that scene too. You know, it's a lot. I guess a lot less. Not as serious, I think. But you know, both Laruto and Fado are really great characters. I really like them. So I think this is a. Is it just me or oh, like battleships just like stalking us recently? Even though they're on this island anyway, but seriously, every time I do an outro, that happens. I called that. Okay, so I'm gonna end this episode off here right now. And in the next episode, we will go to the next sage where he is hiding. And we'll play the song from we just learned and att attempt the next temple. So thank you so much for watching and bye.